All right, good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct. Make sure this thing's working from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. That's Memphis, Tennessee, not Memphis, Mississippi, or Memphis, Missouri, or wherever else you may have any Memphises out there. We are Memphis, Tennessee. It is a quiet night. It is a little bit on the uh, very drizzly side for right now, but we are continuing again to see some clearer and drier conditions making their way into the Mid-South as we go throughout the course of the rest of the e evening for right now. So again, pretty quiet for the time being, but if you have any plans for outdoors tonight, definitely want to think about a jacket as we see again the possibility of some fairly cool weather out across much of the Mid-South for tonight and into the next couple of days, some very interesting changes going to be taking place, all thanks to a storm system on the opposite side of the planet. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. If you have any questions about the forecast, we are live on Periscope and Twitter. We would love to have you along for the ride. So if you have any questions about what's going on, please drop them into the comments section and let me know, and we'll answer them as soon as we possibly can. We don't have too much to go on in the way of rainfall for this evening. Fractions of an inch for the most part. Welcoming all of everybody joining us for the uh, Facebook part of our presentation as well. And thanks everybody who's joining us on Periscope and Twitter for the time being. If you've got questions, again, drop them into the comments, and we'll go ahead and answer what we can about the forecast into the rest of the evening. Decently drizzly evening across much of the Mid-South area. The view from our uh, camera into and around the area of Germantown City Hall. A lot of speckles on the lens for this evening. Got some showers out there for tonight. We don't have a lot of showers, but we do have enough to coat the windshield, so if you're driving, the roadways are a little slippery, so we definitely want to slow it down just to be on the safe side. We did not get the huge amounts of rainfall that we saw earlier, so that's good news. No flash flooding, no severe weather today, nothing like that, so definitely good news across much of the Mid-South. But as we wrap the weekend up, kind of drizzly, kind of cool out there. Uh, radar at this time, one little caveat, unfortunately, uh, the radar has been having some difficulty, so this data I'm showing you is about maybe half an hour old, and we are losing chunks of the radar, as you can see here with those little gaps uh, showing up in the radar display. Uh, National Weather Service is aware of the problem. They have technicians working on it, but basically the rainfall for all intents and purposes, is pretty much almost done. As you can see, that large area of rainfall making its way up around Dyersburg, north of I-155, and heading up to around southwestern Kentucky, and just past the Missouri Boot Hill. That's about the biggest amount of rainfall that we've got in the Mid-South area. After that, into around the rest of the Mid-South, eastern Arkansas, and back down into around northern parts of Mississippi. Pardon my telestrator drawing. It's not as good as it used to be. We're seeing, again, little, if anything, taking place here. And directly in the metro area, again, a few sprinkles showing up, lots of drizzle out there, and we'll continue to see that passing on through the Mid-South into the rest of the evening. So chances of rainfall, yes, but not doing uh, too bad out across much of the area there. Uh, Ashley Nicole on Facebook, can we get severe weather in November and December? Yes, absolutely we can. It, it does happen, if you don't believe me on that. Uh, take a look and ask the people out and around the Houston High School area who got a tornado around either Thanksgiving or Christmas. I can't remember which one, but it was about 20, 23 years ago in and around southeast Shelby County that a tornado appeared during the holidays. So yeah, we can get a lot of stuff like that. In fact, we'll talk about what you can do to get ready for severe weather coming up here in just a little while. Thanks to everybody again for joining us on Periscope and Twitter and also on Facebook. Let's go ahead and get to the main part of what's going on uh, for this evening. Looks like I'm watching myself on Periscope, so we'll just switch over to what's going on here. The United States got a bit of a dip in the jet stream right there from the Great Lakes all the way down to where we are. That is what is helping to give us some cooler weather and also, again, some nicer conditions where the temperatures are concerned and the rainfall coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. Now, as we take this and turn it around, you notice the jet stream in that big, bright, reddish-purple color right there. That is going to be affected by a storm system, which is currently over the east coast of Japan. Big storm system over here. Super Typhoon uh, land has been making its way up and into the area. Let me see if I can get the winds down to the ground here so we can see more about what that looks like. There is the hurricane sitting right on the east coast of the Japanese uh, eastern coastal areas, and that hurricane has been doing a very good job of working its way, or will be doing a great job of working its way up and into the jet stream into the course of the next couple of days. That's going to cause a gigantic wobble, that large dip that you see there. That is going to, again, be part 
part of our forecast into the next several days, allowing colder air to drop into the News Channel 3 viewing area. So we will be looking at some much colder conditions out there as we go into the course of the next couple of days. How cool? Well, we'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Earthquake this morning, not quite like the one we had last week. This one is on the opposite side of the state and happened right around the Watts Bar area uh, between Knoxville and Crossville in West Tennessee or East Tennessee. Uh, 2.5 earthquake happened in that location. And if anybody felt that, the USGS and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information would like to know more about it. No areas of damage or anything else from that, so definitely good news there. And, of course, the one we had last week, that was that 3.6 that happened in and around parts of northeast Arkansas around Manila. For this evening, again, temperatures very much on the chilly side out there. Heidelberg Elementary at 60 degrees for this evening. So, it's again, some very cool numbers out there. 57 degrees at Lee County School District in Marion, Arkansas, 59 degrees at South Haven at Sacred Heart School, 59 degrees, 57.9 degrees at Blyville at the airport, everybody else back in the 60s. If you'd like more of this information, wrg.com slash weather and click on weather bug for more information about what's going on with weather in and around the Mid-South area. Charity Rose Ragsdale, welcome from Walls, Mississippi, and thanks for joining us for tonight. Rainfall chances in the Mid-South area, again, around and about, but we're just not seeing, again, a lot of activity out there for the area for tonight. So things are decently quiet at this time. Uh, lots of heavy rainfall from around the Gulf Coast, including some severe weather taking place over parts of the Gulf Coast states. And that has been some pretty nasty conditions down there, including what looked like a large wedge tornado very close to Pascagoula in Mississippi. The rest of the Mid-South seeing the rainfall, but drier air is on its way in. So things will be looking a lot more calm and pleasant here. What's left of that rainfall? fall again along that stationary front just passing through the area will be making its way back toward the east of us later on tonight as it does we'll be seeing drier air coming on through and a second cold front this will be dropping its way into the mid-south and giving us a big burst of cooler drier air as we go into tuesday so it'll be decently mild for monday but we'll also be seeing some very cool and breezy conditions as this next storm system begins to plow its way on through heading into around Tuesday or so. So we do have some changes out there. Severe weather at this time, not seeing a lot of problems out across the Mid-South. Could be some patchy frost according to the National Weather Service in and around Wednesday morning for parts of the area. Tonight, low temperatures dropping into the lower to mid 50s, so pretty comfortable out across the area. Tomorrow morning, the showers are pretty much gone from the Mid-South, so not a a lot of problems there. Could be some patchy fog into the Mid-South, I'm guessing, but not showing up here in the forecast page. High temperatures tomorrow back in the lower to mid-70s. Tomorrow night, low temperatures back in the upper 40s to lower 50s and hopefully should be seeing some clearer skies out there. So if you have any plans for doing some stargazing, next couple of nights look pretty good. You could catch some residual meteors from the Orionid meteor shower. Highs on Tuesday with those cooler breezes coming on through, winds out of the northwest at about 10 to 20 miles per hour coming on through, even around 25 miles per hour by early Tuesday afternoon. So it could be a little choppy on the roadways on the way home from school or work Tuesday evening, but otherwise a beautiful Tuesday coming up. Low temperatures Tuesday night into Wednesday back in the upper 30s to lower 40s so the Tennessee River Valley could see some patchy frost out there high temperatures on Wednesday back in the upper 50s to lower 60s so finally getting into some slightly cooler weather across much of the area there and then Wednesday night low temperatures not quite as chilly lower to mid 40s out there Thursday high temperatures back in the lower 70s and then Friday high temperatures back a little cooler with our next storm system coming on through as this one rolls the winds from the south back to the northwest. It'll also unfortunately be bringing in the possibility of some more showers and thunderstorms right in time for Friday night football unfortunately. So Friday night at about 7 o'clock chances of showers across the mid-south. Hopefully the thunder threat will be done so it's just going to be drizzly but that could also be a bit of a problem out there. And lows Friday night back in the upper 30s to lower 40s. That big whip in the jet stream we talked about, this is the cold air arriving as we go into the weekend. Lower 50s for highs in northwest Tennessee, the Boot Hill, and northeast Arkansas. Everybody else back in the mid to upper 50s by next Saturday. And that's about as good as it gets for this forecast because, unfortunately, it doesn't go much beyond 
about six days time but that gives you kind of a tease as to what may be coming our direction national weather service teaching severe weather spotter training courses in the mid-south if you'd like to know more go to weather.gov click on the mid-south area and then click on the skywarn meetings page you can see we've got about six of them left tomorrow night in paris tennessee at the henry county eoc on the 26th, that'll be on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, two, one, three, four, five, yeah, six. Uh, Thursday at 6.30 p.m., Decatur County, Tennessee, at UT Martin's Parsons Center, 975 Tennessee Avenue in Parsons, Tennessee. Nancy Bell from Dyersburg, welcome to the show. Gloria Davis from Ashland, thanks for stopping on by for tonight. Last meeting will be coming up in Tippa County in Ripley, Mississippi. That'll be on the 7th of November, 6th of November in Selmer, Tennessee at the McNary County courthouse lawrence county on the 2nd of november black rock arkansas and don't want to leave out corinth mississippi on the day before halloween 30th monday next 6 30 p.m at 2759 south harper road in corinth mississippi great way to learn more about severe weather the meteors from the orionid meteor shower are happening right now across the area and if you'd like to know more from the international meteor organization more details about halley's comet and dropping the meteors in our planet's path out there. Unfortunately, it would be nice if we could look at the sky to see this, but it's still pretty cloudy out there. But once again, remember that if you have never had a chance to see or experience this before, go to livemeteors.com. I wish I could play the audio for you. Uh, Periscope and Twitter, hopefully you're able to hear something right now. You're hearing sort of a staticky background. If you can hear this, you can watch it on YouTube to find out more about this. And right there in the 61 uh, megahertz range in very high frequency, you can see some speckles going down the waterfall right there. You can listen to the echoes of radio waves bouncing off of a meteor's trail and going back to the receiver, and that's what's translated into sound. There's a couple of big meteors and just smack the atmosphere right there. It looks like a good opportunity to hear the meteors, and that's all available at livemeteors.com. If you'd like to follow along and listen to the meteors, a great way to participate, even when the skies are cloudy, so a good opportunity to get out there and listen to the meteors if you'd like to do so. If you're watching on Periscope and Instagram right there, winter is on the way from still underscore jeepin. Hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, it is on the way. No question about that. Uh, get cooler out there. More on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash austinonic wreg. Also on my Twitter page at twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg3. And if you'd like to participate in our pictures, got tons of them out there. Thanks to everyone for passing those along. Great to have you along for the ride. So if you'd like to be able to see a little bit more about what other people are sending in out there, we'd love to have you out there and sending in some great pictures uh, for the early portion of the day today and also in to yesterday as well. So thanks to everybody for passing these things along and a great opportunity to see more about what your neighbors are doing. If you've got something you'd like to send to us, please do so. I'd love to be able to feature them, but I can't show I can't show them unless you send them. So if you would like to send them along, please do so. We'd love to have you along for the ride on that on Instagram, Aonic, no underscore necessary, W-R-E-G-3, and also available, hey, look, cool, it's me watching me, watching me, watching me on uh, Instagram, or uh, pardon me, on uh, Periscope. Yes, thank you very much. Knew I was uh, getting that taken care of there correctly on that if you'd like to see more. Don't forget to join me for the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. I'm going to keep you updated on Country 92.5, Oldies 102.3, and of course I'll have your forecast bright and early Monday morning with Bob and Josh, 7 to 9 a.m. Monday through Friday, so join me for more on that. And they're going to be moving to their new time, 8 o'clock in the morning in a couple of weeks. We'll have more on that coming up as we know it. And if you can't listen on air, listen online at talkbacklivenetwork.org. And you can catch my forecast Monday through Friday on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. Questions, concerns, ideas, comments, complaints, if you absolutely have to, please uh, let me know in the blue bar ahead or just above you. You can see up there my email address, austin.onic at wreg.com. So if you'd like to send me something, please let me know. Also available again on social media networks here, here, and over there on the screen. So you've got a pretty good idea where to find me at this point in time. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, 
Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the Sunday evening edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We'll be on a little late tonight, thanks to NFL football running a bit behind. So join us at about 10.35 tonight. Kristen Harrelson has all the day's news. Glenn Carver has a busy day in sports. And yours truly with your weekend-ending forecast. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend and beyond, and we'll keep you informed.